Good evening, my name is Lisa Pallavi Barbara and uh, I'm bringing to you today's market wrap. Domestic equity markets have been in a correction mode for the last couple of days uh, thanks to the chaos in the monsoon session of parliament on account of the CAG report on coal mining. Of course, subdued global markets today did not help the cause. The BSE Sensex finally ended the day at 17,632, down around 47 points and the Nifty closed at 5,335, uh, down around 16 points. Mid-caps actually had a much worse day as the BSE mid-cap index was down uh, close to or rather slightly more than 1% today. Uh, on the global markets, uh, major Asian indices were mixed. However, European, uh, major European indices are currently trading anywhere between 0.5 to 1% lower. Back home, it was not a complete washout as uh, IT, FMCG and power stocks actually had a good day. The BSC IT index was the biggest gainer today, up around 0.92%, followed by the FMCG index, which was up close to 0.7%. Among large caps in IT, uh, TCS gained 2.2% and Wipro was up 0.7%. In the FMCG uh, corner, ITC gained an another 1% and Goodrich Consumer was up around 0.5%. United Breweries actually had a very good day, up 9% on some rumor-based buying. Power stocks also had a good day as Maharashtra has increased the ceiling on fuel adjustment costs to 20% from 10% and uh, both uh, Tata Power and NTPC were up 1.5% today. On the declining side, metals had another bad day as globally commodity prices are uh, seen to be declining. Um, there were some big losers, Sterlite Industries was down 5%, Jindal uh, Steel was down 4.9%, Hindustan Zinc was down 4% and Hindalco corrected 3% today. Banking stocks also took a knock as the possibility of a rate cut seems to uh, be further away. Among large caps, Axis Bank was down 2%, ICICI Bank was down 1.4% and among some of the smaller banks, Federal Bank corrected 3% and Indusind was down around 2.2% today. Uh, as mentioned, mid caps had a, a particularly bad day today and uh, many stocks corrected between 2 to 3 percent, but there were some that did stand out. Alok Industries corrected 18.2 percent today, um, SKS Microfinance was down 8 percent, uh, Walk Hard corrected around 7 percent, uh, uh, Educom Solutions was down 6 percent, and Tul Tulip Telecom was down around 5 percent. Uh, while textile stocks uh, other than Alok uh, as a pack also did really bad and corrected, uh, however, the other stocks uh, corrected more on uh, company specific uh, transactions and trading. That's all from me today. Log on to livemin.com for more details. Thank you.